I want to talk about a movie that I saw called Mr. Malcolm's List. <laughs> I'm so glad you saw this one. <laughs> I saw this and not because I wanted to. Um, my girlfriend loves Jane Austen. She, you know, Pride and Prejudice. She's seen every version of Pride and Prejudice that's ever existed, ever. <laughs> Perfect timing. Great. On that. Yes, this was one movie I did not want to see at all. Yeah, so I saw the film, and uh, I, I saw this film, and it is a drama. It's about this gentleman. He happens to be a, a black gentleman in England. He is he is uh, not quite royalty, but like semi royalty because he's rich. Um, he and he is suiting. Uh, he's 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 a. Uh, pursuing different women and his love life is very public and he goes on one date with a girl and then doesn't isn't interested and uh it, re it is released in the newspapers that mr malcolm went out on a date with this girl and then isn't seeing her anymore and it becomes like news she's so upset by this that she enlists the aid of her childhood friend to get back at him because she discovers that he has a list and she did not fit the qualifications on his list. The list are, the list is a bunch of things he wants to find in a woman that he wants to marry, right? As I'm telling you this, it sounds like a fairy tale. It's a very, it's a very simple story. So he has this list and their plan they come up with is that she is going to pursue him. She is going to be based on his list because they figured they found out what's on the list. They're going to make her into the perfect woman for him. And then she's going to reject him because Mr. Malcolm doesn't fit what's on her list. It's this whole plan to get revenge because of this woman scorned. Uh, this is a movie that you probably would have seen on PBS. Okay. And, and it's just very much like it's high society, England in the 1800s. And it's, it's, everything is, you know, they're, they're playing these like parlor games and it's all, you know, it's, you've seen this kind of movie before. Let me, um, I think I have, uh, I think I have a, a picture here that we can, we can show of it real quick. So I'll, I'll share screen here, but here's, here's what's weird about this here here here's what's weird um i'm going to share this for you really quickly my apologies i should have had this set up so here's the cast and what you're looking at the cast these are all different couples from it and you can already tell what the movie is going to be before you even go to see it it's just very much like lovers and this and letters everything is very everything is very dramatic so it's very melodramatic. And, you know, this is set in England. Now, I'm not aware. Was? I'm just asking the question. I'm asking the question. Was England, at the time, this racially diverse? I don't know. But it took me out of the movie thinking to myself, is this, is it, I mean, is, is this how it was in England where people like more integrated and, and less so it was less so that in the United States, I don't know, but it kind of took me out of the movie in the sense that like, I just wasn't sure. So the story is fine. And I get the idea. This is sort of like Hamilton, right? Like we're going to rewrite history and kind of recast, um, you know, people in different roles they wouldn't necessarily be in, which is fine for a story. The story itself was totally fine and innocuous. It just took me out of it a little bit because I thought like, I just don't know, I don't know hi history of England from that era. And I'm not quite sure if this was historically accurate. Yeah. I also don't think that the filmmakers cared either. I don't think they cared whether it was historically accurate. They're just trying to tell a story in a different way and sort of, uh, it, it was, yeah. although I'll say this, oh God, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say, but there's, uh, there's just some characters that you're like, they kind of like, I feel like they just pushed it a little too far in a couple of instances. Uh, it, this is not a movie for me. It's not a movie for me. If you like this kind of period drama that involves romance and revenge and, uh, you know, uh, sort of high, high, high society hijinks. 
mm -hmm. then this film is for you. Yeah, you know, I mean, regarding the uh, the race swapping, so to speak, uh, you know, there's I have generally two criteria. One is, does it feel organic? And two, if it doesn't, does the actor deserve this role? And uh, so I suppose that's the question I have for you. Did it feel organic? And, and was the actor at least good at the role? Yes. No, the actors were really good. Sorry, I have to. Uh, I got to <laughs> tell someone. Don't I'm, they know we're doing a live stream? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I, I this is this is the problem I have with the the current live remakes of Disney. It's you know they're just injecting this diversity into it where it just doesn't feel organic, and uh, and I always feel like it it's not done to make to virtue signal, but it's 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 kind of a backhanded slap to Walt Disney who who they feel like they need to correct everything he had done. Right. You know, anyway. Uh, the racially insensitive Walt Disney. And, and in this one, you know, I, I never, you know, there seems to be a light tone to this. And I never really felt like Jane Austen had kind of the silly light tone to it either. No, I, I think Jane, I mean, I've seen like Pride and Prejudice stuff and I'm like, okay, I get sucked in, I get it. And it's also like of the era, it's very authentic mm -hmm. to that era. Cause they were, they were written like in that era. Right. Like, so, so they were authentic to the time. Um, but but um, this is uh, it's just a movie not for me. Your mileage may vary. It is in theaters. It's in theaters, but I believe it's coming out on video on demand next week. So uh, if this is something that might interest you, I think the story is perfectly fine. And uh, and they, I, I just I just think it's important to talk about a film like this that is uh, kind of rolling the dice and taking the risk. It didn't seem to overtly virtue signal is what I'll say. All they did was they say, we're going to take a classic kind of story that you've seen a million times before. We're just going to mix it up. And there you go. Uh, a couple of the actors, I think, didn't work really. I think Theo James is actually one of the best actors in this. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought the lead actor, the actor who played Mr. Malcolm, was okay. He should have been much better for the way his character was built up. I mean, he's the, you know, he's at least the title character, not necessarily the central character, but central to the story, um, he's not the protagonist. I wouldn't say he's the protagonist. It's the women of the story. But there you go. Mr. Malcolm's list. 